Hello friends, welcome to Chips Academy. Friends, I am uploading these videos for helping 11th and 12th science students and Diploma and Deg Degree Engineering College students. So I request you all to subscribe my channel and share my videos as much as possible so that needy can avail benefit. So today we will see limits by standard formula. So limits problems can be solved by standard formulas. So these formulas are first one limit x tends to a x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a is equals to n a raised to n minus 1. Second formula is limit x tends to or n tends to infinity 1 upon n is equals to 0. As here you will put infinity 1 upon infinity will be 0. Third one limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n raised to n will be equals to e. The correspondence formula for here will be 1 plus n raised to 1 by n that will also be equals to e. Fourth formula limit n tends to infinity r raised to n will be equals to 0. Here one condition is there that is mod r should be less than 1. So that if mod r is less than 1 means it will be minus 1 raised to infinity. So we can think that minus 1 raised to infinity means it will tends to 0. Next one limit h tends to 0 a raised to h minus 1 upon h will be equals to log a to the base e. Sixth formula limit theta tends to 0 sin theta upon theta will be equals to 1. Likewise limit theta tends to 0 tan theta upon theta will be equals to 1. Next formula is limit x tends to 0 sin inverse x by x will be equals to 1. Next formula is limit x tends to 0 tan inverse x by x will also be equals to 1. So these are some formulas we can solve the problems of limit. With these some formulas of series is also utilized in these problems. First one is summation n. So summation n means if phi is there means up to phi whatever numbers are coming 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the summation of that phi numbers right. So summation n will be equals to n n plus 1 by 2. Second formula is for summation n square. So summation n square means 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square likewise. So summation of these square will be equals to n n plus 1 to n plus 1 by 6. Next one is summation of n cube. So this will be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube. Likewise this will be equals to n square n plus 1 whole square by 4. So these are some formulas. By means of these formulas we can solve the problems of limit. So friends here are two problems. These problems can be solved with the help of standard formulas and by means of standard formulas we can solve the problems of limit. So first one, first problem if I will see here this is x cube minus 3 cube and here it is third root 
or cube root of x and cube root of 3. So by seeing here, it should be click in your mind that this is the formula for x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a. But in the denominator, for this x cube minus 3 cube, I am not having x minus 3. And for this, I am not having x minus 3 in the numerator. So, we need to multiply this term by x, raise, x minus 3 and in the denominator also x minus 3. So, this problem can be solved like this way. This will be limit x tends to 3 x cube minus 3 cube upon x raised to 1 by 3 minus 3 raised to 1 by 3. As I have said you, we need to multiply with x minus 3 and as we have multiplied, we need to divide also. So this will be limit x tends to 3 x cube minus 3 cube upon x minus 3 into 1 upon limit x tends to 3 x raised to 1 by 3 minus 3 raised to 1 by 3. So whatever this term is there that is in the numerator if we want to bring it in the denominator it will go denominators denominator. So it will be x minus 3. So now I can apply the formula for x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a that is n a raised to n minus 1. What is the value of n over here that is 3 and what is the value of a over here that is also 3. So, we are knowing the formula that is x limit x tends to a x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a will be equals to n a raised to n minus 1. So, this is n. So, 3, 3, n minus 1 means 3 minus 1. Okay friends, here it will be n is 1 by 3 and a is 3. So, n a raised to n minus 1 means 1 by 3, a means 3 raised to 1 by 3 minus 1. So, this will be equals to 3, 3 square and this is denominator's denominator that will come into the numerator. So, it will be 3, 1 upon 3 raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 here cross multiplication will be there 1 minus 3 by 3 that will be minus 2 by 3. So here it will be 9 3 is a 27 3 is a 81 81 into 3 raised to plus 2 by 3. So this will be your answer. So likewise you can use the standard formula and you can solve the problem of limit. This is the second formula second problem and the second problem can also be solved by this formula only x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a is equals to n a raised to n minus 1. So we will start. So this will be a limit x tends to a. This cube root of x that I can write like this way x raised to 1 by 3 minus this is cube root of a that I can write as x raised to 1 by 3. This fifth root of x that I can write as 1 by 5 minus a raised to 1 by 5. If I am remembering the formula that is limit x tends to a x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a is equals to n a raised to n minus 1. So what is the value of n over here that is 1 by 3. So, if I am saying for uh, this, x minus a should be there in the denominator. But here it is not there, right? So, what we need to do, we can multiply and divide the term by x minus a. So, this will be limit x tends to a x raised to 1 by 3 minus a raised to 1 by 3 upon x minus a multiply also x minus a x raised to 1 by 5 minus a raised to 1 by 5. So this will become limit x tends to a x raised to 1 by 3 
minus a raised to 1 by 3 upon x minus a. Limit can be applicable to these both terms. So, it will be 1 upon limit x tends to a x raised to 1 by 5 minus a raised to 1 by 5 upon x minus a. So, this will be x n x raised to n this formula x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a is equals to n a raised to n minus 1. So, this will be n is 1 by 3 over here and a is a itself over here. So, 1 by 3 a is a itself so 1 by 3 n minus 1. So, 1 by 3 minus 1 into 1 upon 1 by 5. Here also a itself is a over here and a raised to n minus 1. So, this will be 1 by 3 a raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 that is a cross multiplication. So, 1 minus 3 by 3 that is minus 2 by 3 and here it will be 1 over 1 by 5 a raised to 1 minus 5 by 5 that is minus 4 by 5. So, now if I will bring this uh, denominator denominator it will become numerator that will be 5 by 3 and this term is a raised to minus 2 by 3 and this a raised to minus 4 by 5 if it will come in the numerator it will become plus 4 by 5 right so this will be 5 by 3 a raised to now power can be added up so 4 by 5 minus 2 by 3 actually it should be plus but plus minus minus will be there right so now here uh, i need to take lcm that will be 15 